Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play Pico 8 game. And today we're going to be looking at Return of the Slime Pies. And this is a game that's recently uploaded to the uh, BBS, I believe, and one that I've recently come across. And let me just get this out of the way by saying it's absolutely great. So let's get into it. So. It's an exploratory run and gun style game with Metroidvania style elements. So, got this little guy here. You can run, jump, slide, climb, cling onto walls, climb up ladders, shoot in multiple directions, and the objective appears to be to traverse this cavern and uh, make your way through it. So those little red, now green, um, button looking things there, need to be shot to open doors. That is a checkpoint. And those are spikes there, which you can you can walk through, but you can't jump on them. Kind of similar to the uh, original Prince of Persia, if you've ever played that. So you make your way through the cavern, come across some enemies. And shoot them. So yeah, I start playing this recently. I think it's fantastic. I love the control, the controls of it. One of the things that um, I always think is important in any game is having good controls. And with this game, they feel like an extension of you. So that's always a good thing. Right, so I need to remember what I did first play this now. So yeah, those things I just walked past were their checkpoint markers. So that's where you return when you die. Uh, yes, I remember now. So you just go down, avoid the spikes, just like that. So yeah, what you're seeing is what you get really. Um, visually, it's yep, probably not the nicest looking Pico 8 game you'll ever see, but it's it's good enough. It, it certainly, um, especially given the size of the uh, sprites, it's kind of what you, in line of what you'd expect. So it works well in that regard. Um, oops, it's quite similar to. Sophie Holden's other game, Child of Dusk or something, whatever it was called, I can't remember that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, visually, I mean, it's similar to that. Oh, so, an exploding barrel I just shot there. The music, uh, it's an interesting little tune. Chaotic, but it kind of works. So, let's shoot this on the barrel. So yes, do I recommend this game? Absolutely, based on what I've been doing so far. Very nice level design as well, pretty clever. Oh, and here we go, so you come across these every so often. These terminals basically fill out the story. So let's continue. So let's get these let's get these generators back online. Oops. I meant to shoot that button over there. Can't 
achieve that one yet. But I can shoot that one. Yeah, I like the way, you know, the fluidity of the controls. I must mention that again. It's the sliding and jumping around and this works really well. Really well done. doors. Alright, so there's a cool bit coming up a bit later on. Try and get to it in this playthrough. Obviously not going to, don't want to keep this video going on for too long, but I must show you this bit that's coming up in a, in a moment. And if you've played this game before, you probably already know what I'm talking about. enemies themselves don't really pose much of an immediate threat, they're just kind of more like obstacles to, to clear away. I don't know if there are any other enemy types later on, but so far this is all I've encountered. Busy room. Oh, here we go. It's already started to happen. So I don't quite know what triggers that, but now I've turned into one of these slime things and I have their abilities so I can fly. Also, in this state, I cannot. I am actually um, immune, so I can't be killed by these enemies, but it also means I cannot use terminals. Okay, so last first time I played this, I um, that transformation happened after I pulled that lever, so... I thought it was something in this room that triggered it, but obviously not. So, not quite sure what I need to do, but it's all about figuring it out, I suppose. So, let's just fly around a bit and see what I can find here. There obviously has to be some a way to change back or something like that. I can't get anywhere. Oh, I think that's the other side of that same room, isn't it? I remember that. Ah. 
Oh, I see. I get it now. I get it. So... You can kill yourself in that state, and it takes you back. Alright. Takes you back to the last checkpoint. Okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Ah, yes, I get it now. So when you touch those, those things are zombies, aren't they? Ah, okay. Alright. <clears throat> well, you should probably, I imagine you've probably seen, you've got the idea of the game now. So there's not too much to show. So I will be bringing this video to a close shortly. So yes, this is a great game. I really do like this a lot. I look forward to spending more time with it and um, making my way through the maze. And I'm sure you will too. So this comes highly recommended. So. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next video.